Growing up in Hawaii, we have a lot more um, Asian faces to choose from locally. I think the only person that I really watched on TV that would be a role model would be Nancy Kwan. I mean, I used to love watching musicals and, and Flower Drum Song, and, and she was so amazing. And she was kind of the role model for me growing up. When I was 16, I was, I was uh, in this Miss Teen USA pageant, and I remember just as I was about to leave Hawaii, my mother took me aside and she said, you know, um, don't be upset when you don't win because America's not ready for an Asian Miss Teen USA. And growing up in Hawaii, you know, you don't really understand that you are the minority in the United States because in Hawaii we're kind of the majority. So it was kind of a surprise to me to, to even understand that, that people still thought that way and I told her I said oh that's so old-fashioned but anyway don't worry I'm not gonna win I just want to go up and have fun and um, and and surprisingly you know I guess America was ready for an Asian Miss Teen USA because I ended up winning this pageant I remember getting so many letters and 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 people like coming up to me and appearances all over the US just telling me how important it was to them because there were no Asian people on television and there was no one else for them to look up to. And, and I really had the Asian community behind me in this pageant because, um, because at that time in the 80s, there was hardly anyone. As a 16 year old to be a role model, it was really kind of hard because I think you're really still discovering yourself and making a lot of mistakes and figuring out who you are. But now that I'm older, I can really appreciate it a lot more because I understand it now. I understand the importance of it. Um, I understand how it really does affect the community and, and makes a difference. I think this campaign is so important because um, it really helps kids, especially Asian American kids who are so often bullied in school and things. It really helps build their confidence and it will help to um, hopefully just get more people out there for them to emulate and, and look up to that are like them uh, so that they know that they can get out there and, and do anything, you know, they're, that they're not limited because of what they look like. Hey guys, so as I was telling you before, I... Hello? Yo, Ryan, this is Randall. Randall who? Of Randall Park. I know you didn't ask, but I came up with some nicknames for you. Yellow Mamba. Sriracha. But it'll be like, Sir Racha. That's my neighbor, Jessica Gomes. You mean Australian, Portuguese, Chinese, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, Jessica Gomes? Whenever she comes by, it's like bubble guts. Hey, Steven. Hey. Well, hold on, I'm on the phone, so. Remember when you asked to feel about my skin regimen? Feel my feet. I no, seriously, feet. feel it. That's mighty close. No, wow. really. Okay, that's perfect. Honey, I can't find rubies. Just thought I'd try something different. This is a date. This is not a date. This is a date. Hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? It's like an episode of the Dating Game. I'll be a cape role model. Awesome, thanks, man. Right on. Hey, what exactly do I have to do? Just be yourself. Cool. Do I have to wear pants? Can I be a role model? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm serious, but okay. <laughs> Do what you love. It is super cliche, but I went through it. I went to college originally for nuclear medicine. Yeah, right? No, people don't even know what that is. Every time I call my dad, he's like, go do law school. It's so easy. <laughs> law school is not easy, man. Like, um, I can't do that. My mom, she wanted me to be a doctor, of course, but deep down, my passion was always art. We need to be more proactive. Asians need to step up. I mean, it's time. I'm Lisa Ling, you have to check out this campaign. It's at im-campaign.com.